trying to say, I often, I've been to three or four meetings in North America recently where people have said, we're in danger of, of acquiring the Japanese disease, the, the period of, of uh, limited growth or stagnation. You know, you've had the so-called lost decade. Mm -hmm. um, the population is declining. Mm -hmm. Now, I say, for heaven's sakes, people, this should be the model for the world to follow. Mm -hmm. If Japan were really organizing itself sensibly right now, taking into account what we're trying to show with our eco-footprint analysis, it would capitalize on the fact that the economy is stagnant. It would try to make it into a steady state economy that's slightly decreasing, maintaining well-being and life quality while decreasing energy and material throughput, and indeed letting the population slide, organizing socially and culturally. Uh, to lower the entire demands of this country because you have an eco footprint four times or five times larger mm -hmm. than the biophysical base of the country. That's a very dangerous situation to be in in the future that's unfolding. And so uh, I would say capitalize on the current economic slowdown and make it a planned slowdown uh, that uh, creates abundance for everyone within the constraints you have. Thank you for <laughs> listening to us and thinking with us because these are the biggest challenges of the 21st century. And here's the good news, that economic reality is already shifting. If we truly take this trend seriously, it will help us to invest much more wisely because investments, true investments, they last. You buy a house, you build a house, it lasts for 50 years, for 100 years. We invest in a windmill if it lasts for 40 years, 60 years. So it lasts a long time, our investments. So we need to think, are our investments going to gain in value in a world of resource constraints or lose in values? If we all start to think like that, we'll invest into the world that we actually need. So it's in the interest of investors, it's in the interest of cities, and it's in the interest of countries like Japan to think a little bit longer and say, what kind of investments will be opportunities rather than traps? So we're not asking for austerity, we're not asking for decay or difficulties. We are asking you to commit to succeed because that will be good for you and it will be good for Japan and it will be good for the world.